Hi YouTube ladies, how are you today? I am here with a video and um, this won't be a long video. I actually need to do two videos. I really like to um, always try to um, make a video for each item. I think that, um, you know, I don't like to like rush on one item. I'm, I don't plan to make a long video, but I like to, you know, take care of that item and then the other item. But anyhow, so if you see me with the same attire, it is because I did film it the same day. But um, I am going to start with the purse that I am currently using. I started using it two days ago. And um, here it is. It is my Never Fool in the MM size. And um, uh, the Never Fool is a, such an iconic item. It's very popular. Um, I've noticed on websites like the Real Real Fashion File, um, when they post them, they actually go like this. And, um, you know, um, it really does fit a lot. It, to me, I feel like it's mostly a trouble, um, a travel um, purse. Um, I don't feel like, um, to me, I, I don't, the MM might be okay to use on a daily basis, but I think it's such a big purse and when you stuff too much in it, it gets really heavy. I don't even have a whole lot and I will show you what I have in it and it already feels heavy. Um, here it is. And, um, as I said, I only have a few items and, you know, it really feels like it weighs, you know, a lot for whatever reason. And, um, you know, when you carry so much in these purses, it really feels like it's, it makes a lot of pressure on your shoulder. These straps are so thin that you can feel the pressure a lot more than when you have like a delightful or any other shoulder purse that has a thicker strap. Anyhow, um, I have my son's iPad. He was playing on it um, on the way to school. Um, I have my Emily wallet, my makeup purse, and this is from Betsy Johnson. And it's really funny because I just saw a posting the other day on one um, lady that um, I follow on YouTube. And um, I have her on my Facebook and she posted... Um, a um she posted a post saying how many of you ladies have that um betty boop um makeup purse and your louis vuitton makeup purse and you end up always using the betty boop um well that's me of course this is not betty boop this is betsy johnson however for whatever reason maybe because i don't want to damage my louis vuitton and i'm so sloppy with my makeup i always use the cheap ones um and inside the pocket, I just carry my headphones for when I go to the gym. I try to go every other day at least. <laughs> um, my EOS lotion, my lip balm, and my car keys. And I have two car keys because <laughs> I have two cars. Um, and, you know, I have this little poofy all here on it right now i bought this on um a website car called mercury um i was just browsing and i saw a lady selling like a whole bunch of different colors and really i loved it the black one goes with all of my purses um anyhow um uh, there is some pros and cons on this one and i am not going to even ramble about it because really there's so many great videos out there on the never full but um as we know the monogram canvas normally carries the baqueta leather and um the leather on this one is very great it's in great shape it has a light patina a honey patina it's um it's a really nice color um it's very even throughout the whole purse even the straps are not you know the end of the straps or the top of the straps are not darker than the rest of the leather just because i don't hand carry it i feel that's what happens when you do hand carry it i normally um carry it on the shoulder i don't really carry it any other way um everything on this purse is in great shape um i like that you can cinch the purse if um, you don't want to carry it open and it also has a clasp inside where you could um, you know so it can give you more privacy so you can clasp you know the inside and cinch the sides and um, it gives it a little bit of a different style and I am sure that you ladies already know this 
Um, so yeah, so basically that's, you know, how it would look. And I didn't even think I did so great here, but there it is. Um, it's not doing it completely on this side because of that. Plus, I don't really do it, so it's kind of hard for it to um, stay flat like that. But, I mean, using that technique and, you know, closing it from here will give more privacy to your items inside your purse. Um, so, I mean, other than that, I do want to talk about um, the difference. When I went to purchase this purse, it was when they came out with the new one. The one that, the new, I guess it's called, where you can choose the color from the inside. And it has the clutch. Um, when I went to purchase this one, they had that one. They had just came out with it and they still had some of these left. And as you know, they always try to sell whatever they have in stock um you know before sending it back i don't know for for how long they will keep it in stock and if it doesn't sell they return it i've heard they burn the purses if they don't sell them i don't know that's kind of you know sad per se i wish i knew where they are doing that so i can go and be like this is mine and yeah that's would be stealing but i'm just joking around um anyhow um when I went to the store, as I said, they had the other one. And um, I told the lady, well, let me look at both of them. Um, the difference was around $150 before taxes, something like that. I am not 100% sure. Right now, I know that one went up, so it's probably more on the difference. But um, they don't have this one anymore. The only difference that I did see when I was there, or the couple differences, and I am going to be very honest and specific about them is um the interior didn't have the symbols you know the little flowers or stars or whatever you want to call these the 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 logos the symbols um they it didn't have that it only had the lines and you could choose different colors from the inside um but that was the only difference the outside was exactly the same another thing that i did notice was um the new model seemed more, um, the quality was not at par. Um, it, it seemed more fragile. It didn't seem like, um, like it, it was, the canvas was so soft and almost like the purse would fold on its own like completely. Um, I was looking at the Azure because I was debating on um, the monogram or the Azure um and it, it and it was the one with the um gosh I, I forgot what color it had inside at this moment because it's been a couple years but um you could almost see through the canvas canvas right here it was like so clear i i can't even explain to you it just looked cheap and i am sorry it just did this one is made in france i don't know if that had anything to do with and um you know um as you see here made in france the one that i was looking at was made in usa i'm never picky um about where my purses are made um as long as they last um that's all that matters to me but that's the only time that i would say i did notice that something wasn't right and this was at the store at that um, the canvas was extremely soft on the newer model um, and I didn't feel like it would last as long as this one so you know when I compared them and I felt them and I said you know what I am just going to go with the original one the only difference is the inside and that it has a pouch but I didn't feel like paying over $200 with taxes just because of that flat little envelope looking pouch thing that fits nothing inside and I am saying that because I did buy one after off a website and really I don't use it because it doesn't fit much um, you can probably put your phone in a couple cards and that's pretty much it and even to use it for makeup like it, it looks bulky I don't know I don't like it my personal opinion but um this one is in great shape I have no stains inside it's showing really no wear unless 
um, you want to call the Baqueta Leather Getting a Honey Patina Color Wear. Um, it's very even and it's really light. It probably looks even a little bit darker here on the video to be quite honest because of the lighting. But um, this one is really doing great. I really love it. Um, I am not a fan of Baqueta Leather and even Monogram. I love the Monogram but just the Baqueta Leather... Um, I don't know. I, I love the Ebene more. That's just more me. I love brown and more like the chocolatey brown color that the Ebene has. Um, you know, if it gets much darker, I I know that I won't be using this one. And I know it is in the years. It's going to get darker. I don't use it much, so that's probably why it's so light still. But um, I think that maybe a a shade darker or two I will be okay with anything after that it's a goner <laughs> and really that's just how I am and that is why I buy the bean I I don't know I mean I have had it for a while and I still love the color I'm okay with it and you know it'll probably be in my collection for a while and if I don't use it then it'll probably be in my collection forever but I started using it like two days ago um, and I have been enjoying it again and as I said you know um, the difference is only the inside and really the quality I think is better on the older models they revamped it supposedly to make it more durable but really I don't think so um, I have a friend that owns it in the um, monogram with the raspberry um, color inside and hers is not doing well around the the um the baqueta leather and just a few things that she has going on and really um it's newer than mine so i am glad i chose this one before they had no more they only had two left in that store and they had this one and they had an azure and um the older model and i chose this one um i am scared to buy the azure because the leather looks so ugly and dirty once it starts getting dark because the canvas is so light and i don't like that i don't know everyone is different and um these are just my personal opinions um this purse is beautiful and beautiful and still i love it and i don't think i want to get rid of it just because it has um some patina i think it's doing great and um Yes, ladies, so if you have any questions about this purse in particular, please feel free to ask and I will be more than happy to go over any other reviews on these purse, on this purse. I hope you ladies are having a fabulous week. Take care, God bless, and goodbye. Ciao.